Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 4 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the advancement book. Uh, last episode, we did a, a little bit of a storage. We worked on the Age of Storage with the uh, Would You Hand Me That Crate, Please, the Metella Crate, and the It Fits We Ship. Uh, this episode, I want to focus on the storage upgrades. Now, uh, there are a couple of them here. Uh, they are all very, very useful. Uh, so we got the Drumminado uh, 64, the 256 liters of cola, the uh, Java overflow the better than 1080p uh the or you kidding the avoid z stuff and last but not least is the be kind and rewind now these are all um upgrades that can be applied to things like the wooden crates and the metal crates uh and they work really really well when you are uh, using these as, as in a sort of like an automated system so uh first up uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our very very first upgrade which is the uh, capacity 64 upgrade and to do that it is a simple two chests in a crafting table with a wooden pressure plate and six pieces of wood planks. Now I'm going to make three of these because the interesting thing here is these will uh, stack very, very well. Now the wooden crates only go up to 1024. That's something we showed off last episode. If you are using the metal crates, uh, you can get up to, I, I want to say again, off the top of my head, it's about like 5,000. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to go and we're going to place one of these on uh, to one of these crates. So we went from the base 64 all the way up to 128 and again we can go and add another one there you see it's gone up to 192 and if we add a third one we well actually we can't see it now but it'll be the 256 uh, and we go to that 1032 uh, maximum for the wooden crates and again, if we were using the metal crates we could go up even higher uh, so that was the base 64 uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to make the 256 capacity upgrade uh, to do that it is simply two chests in a crafting table with a stone pressure plate and six pieces of tin ingots. Again, we're going to make three of these because it is really, really interesting to kind of stack them. So we've already add 256 here with the 364s and we're going to go one, two, three, and we're up to about eight something. I got to remember to be a little bit uh, slower on that last one there, but uh, we now have a capacity of 800 and some odd stacks, uh, whereas this one here is up to 256 stacks. So again, you can add them. You can use the 64 and the 256, add them all together. Uh, but if you've got the resources, you might as well go for some of the bigger ones. Uh, here's the 1024 capacity upgrade, which is a two diamonds in a crafting table with an iron pressure plate and six pieces of gold. We're going to make a three one more time. And actually, I'm going to leave this one blank. But you can see here, um, we got 256. If I click on that, we're up to 1024. So that has one, that one has been maxed out. If this was a metal crate, we could certainly go further than that. And again, with 832, this is a waste but we're just sort of demonstrating stuff here. And there we go. We got the 1024. Uh, the next one that I want to build is really, really only useful if you've got the metal crates. And if I was thinking ahead, I would have gotten some metal crates handy. Uh, but that's going to be the 4000 uh, K uh, upgrade. Uh, to get that, though, we're going to need to get some emeralds in our world. We do not have an emerald sapling yet. Uh, so the best way to do that is to craft one up for us. Before we do that, we are first going to need to make ourselves some green slimy mud. Now, this is a component uh, that we've got to convert into something else for that. Uh, green sapling. Uh, to do that, we are simply going to need some congealed green slime block, a piece of dirt, and a piece of sand in a crafting table gets us our green slimy mud. Now, this is not useful for the emerald yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go through that in a furnace, and it's going to cook itself up, and it's going to make ourselves a green crystal. Now, we do need one other thing uh, to finish off this recipe, is we're going to need ourselves some nickel, uh, some nickel resin. Now, to make a nickel resin, uh, we are first going to have to make some nickel amber. Uh, to make the nickel amber, it is simply cocoa beans in a crafting table with four petrified resin, two bone resin, and two sand resin. We're going to come over here and why don't we go, we're going to turn that off. Uh, I don't want it pouring into that side and we're going to go, we'll just throw that in there. While that is melting, what I want to do is I want to take that out. I'm just going to go and grab an iron sapling. We're going to go and we're going to place that in there. And there you go, you've got it. it is already melted, molten nickel. We're going to right click on that and it should make us a nickel um, nickel sapling which we can go and we can go get some resin out of that uh, any second now Oh, there we go. It got sucked into here. There's my nickel sapling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that iron ingot down. We're going to turn that on. That's going to turn itself into that nickel ingot. It'll just, it saves me wasting it later on. 
So let's come over here. We're going to place that down. We're going to go twerk, 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 and turn our back to it. And any second now, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go grab that crook and get that handy. And there you go. So we've got the a nickel tree. We're going to go and break all of those leaves. And we're going to go and take that axe and we're going to go and get all of that wood. And there you go. We picked up a, a little bit of resin. So let's clear. Actually, I'm going to leave that down there. Let's throw that up there. Throw the nickel resin into the crafty table. Our green slime crystal is now done in the furnace. We're going to come up here. We're going to place the green slime crystal, one resin, two tin resin, and one diamond resin, and that gets us our emerald sapling. So again, we're going to need a bunch of emeralds for this next step. So I'm going to place this here. We're going to go, we're going to twerk it up. And you know what? This is probably going to take a couple of tries. So uh, what I'll do is I will uh, cut here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. Uh, I have ground away until I had a full stack of these emerald acorns. We're gonna come up here and I'm gonna put nine emerald acorns in a crafting table, it gets me one emerald. Now we're gonna need a six of these for this 4,000K um, upgrade. So six emeralds in a crafting table with two pieces of obsidian, one gold weighted pressure plate, it gets us that upgrade capacity 4,096. Now, like I said before, uh, this is a little bit of a waste. So what I'm actually going to do, let's just run over here and there we go. There is my uh, original metal crate from a last episode. And let's just go through this right here. And as you see, we go hover over it. We've only got 64. Oh, sorry. I, I made a big mistake. I was saying there was only like 5,000 stacks. The metal crate can actually hold up to 32,768 stacks. So that is an absolute ton of uh, stacks to hold of any one item. But we're going to throw that in there. And, you know, we can see now. Oh, sorry. I only threw the thousand one in there. I meant to throw the 4,000K. Uh, I am actually going to hold on to this one here because I'm going to need it to see the uh, items in here. But I'm Imagine I threw the 4000K one in that. So that is the, uh, the the quantity upgrades. There's a couple other different upgrades. Uh, some of them are very, very useful and very, very interesting. Uh, first up, what I want to do is build ourselves a or dictionary upgrade. This is really, really cool. Uh, what we're going to first need is uh, we need to get ourselves a piece of leather. I've already made one over here. Uh, if we've done it before, uh, but to get a leather, we're first going to need to get ourselves a pork chop and we're going to take that pork chop uh, out of the um, the market. We're going to come over here. We're going to cook that pork chop. Once that pork chop is cooked, if you put it on a drying rack, you eventually get yourself a piece of leather. So that is perfect. We're going to go and pop that uh, into a crafting table. That gets us a book. Now, once we get the book, we're going to come over here. We're going to put the book in the crafting table with two pieces of lapis lazuli and six log planks. And that gets us the ore dictionary upgrade. Now, this is a very, very cool item. Um, one th so let me just grab two items down here. Now, if you're not familiar with it, the ore dictionary is sort of a list of items that basically function the same way. So if you're looking in at a recipe uh, and... You can see in the, in the case of the glass here, all the different types of glass are just shifting through uh, the different possibilities. That means you can, you know, use any one of these in this recipe. Uh, that is part of the ore dictionary. So what I've got here is I've got a blue dyed water and some lapis lazuli. I, what I'm going to do, actually, let's split this off because this is really, really interesting to see. And I've only built one of these. I probably should have built two, but we're going to come over here. We're going to go to this wooden crate. We're going to put that or a dictionary on there. Now, what it will allow me to do is say I had a blue dyed uh, water bottle. That wasn't actual water, that was blue dyed water. And you know what? Sometimes I can use lapis lazuli as a dye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on there and you see it sucked up all that lapis lazuli as well. But when I go to take the items out, they all come out as the blue water bottle. So. Uh, it, it, if you've got multiple, you know, blue dyes out there and you kind of want to combine them into one, uh, it is really, really useful for, you know, rather than having three or four different inventories, you can just have it down to one. The only problem is the very, very first thing that you put into that 
is what is it's actually going to be. So I put lapis lazuli in. I'm going to take the blue dyed water and there you go. So we've now got eight pieces of lapis lazuli instead of six and two, uh, six lapis lazuli and two bottles of water. But that is really, really cool. I think that one is very, very useful and very, very nifty. Uh, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a void upgrade. Now to make a void upgrade, we are first going to need a fancy item frame. Uh, to make that, we are going to need a piece of obsidian in a crafting table with four gold nuggets. We're going to take that. We're going to come over here. We're going to place it in the crafting table with a two chests and six more pieces of obsidian. That gets us an upgrade void overflow. Now, this is really, really handy, especially when you've got these systems here, which will eventually, you know, uh, is going to get overloaded with one particular item. Uh, you know, you you know, say we've got 64 stacks of sticks. I, I could go and upgrade it, uh, but really, am I ever going to need more than 64 stacks of sticks? You know, probably not. So rather than have, uh, you know, the whole system kind of bogged down because it's got no place to throw these sticks, what we could do is we could take this void overflow and, you know, basically anytime it reaches, you know, the full 64 stacks uh, of items, it's basically just going to get Rid of the rest. It's going to take the rest and just toss it, you know, into the void. And that's is essentially what it is. It is basically like a garbage can. It's an overflow garbage can. And, you know, anything that goes in, anything over the total amount that goes in there will just completely disappear. So last but not least is the uninstall upgrades upgrade. So uh, to do that, we're first going to need to make ourselves a two more capacity 64 uh, upgrades. So again, that is the two chests, the wooden pressure plate and the six log planks. Uh, we're going to take those out. We're going to come over here. We are also going to need to make ourselves a crate key. That is a wooden crate and three pieces of iron. We're going to take the crate key, throw it back into the system here. We're going to put the two 64 capacity upgrades and that gets us an uninstall install upgrade. So what this allows you to do is say, you know, this is a void uh, upgrade and you're like, well, I don't actually want it to be a void upgrade anymore. You go bang and there it goes. It disappears. You know, this one here is a, uh, the or dictionary upgrade. You know, I don't really need that anymore. You go bang, it disappears. Uh, if we had the you know, on these crates here, you can see we've got, you know, the uh, quantities. You just say, you know what, I just want this to be back down to the uh, single quantity or the, you know, the base 64 quantity. We'll go bang and then we're going to go take a peek and it's back down to the 64 base quantity. Uh, this one will be useful if you are ever, you know, revamping your system. But uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. I got a feeling this was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but I did want to do all of these upgrades together. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, uh, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. But that is it. I will see you guys next time. Good. Goodbye.